Hey guys, so in today's episode, we are installing a set of rock slider that I built for the second generation Toyota Tundra. So anywho, let me show you how this thing looks like. So this is an earlier generation, second generation. Does that make sense? So this is how she looks like. It looks really nice. And uh, this is what I've done to her so far. So I installed this little bad boy here onto her. And it ain't gonna break anymore because I welded her on. So basically, um, the owner uh, had an accident here. According to him, he took, out, he took it off-roading and smashed something into here. So that's why he decided he wants a rock slider and that's why I'm more than happy to help him out. So, uh, this is how the bad boy looks after she's been welded on. Okay. So, let me see if I could show you how it looks like underneath. So, this is how she looks like welded on. So forth. There's four legs on her. And so, what I'm going to do now is I am going to be grinding out this side of the frame here and I'm going to mount and weld. That's what I'm doing guys. She's coming out really nice. Okay guys, so this side looks like this. This side is also finished. This is how the bad boy looks. Here again. Right now, it's uh, it's being angled 10 degrees up. That's why it looks like that. So now I know that these the paint here looks very scuffed, but this is so that uh, it doesn't rust. So when the owner comes, he's well when the owner takes it home, he's gonna have to uh, paint it himself. That's what he, he wanted. So uh, the paint here, the reason I painted it like this is because. We we're gonna go out of town for a long time and it's gonna be left in the garage and I didn't want the, the thing to rust. And so that's why it looks like that. But underneath, looks like that, looks like that. I welded it on. So he'll have to uh, paint the underside. Yeah. Let's go test the rock sliders. Okay guys, so. She's finally done. So what we're doing here, what I'm doing here actually, is I'm going to be testing this rock slider that I built. So um, it's not ideal, but this is just to mimic uh, a flat in the front. And so you have a high lift jack. And what you do is you put it right on the outside of the rails here anywhere. And what you do is you crank this up until that tire can rotate by itself freely and you change up the tire. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for guys. And at the same time, we're going to be checking to see if it can open the, the doors front and back. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Tires can spin. And let's look at the door. Let's open and close without any obstruction. Just have one finger left for flex. And then the rear door can still open. So that's what we're looking for, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are. Otherwise, it's good. 